Hello everyone, today we're going to show you the Su-30 jets that became nuclear capable with hypersonic KH-32 missiles. Before watching this video, don't forget to leave your comment below if you have any suggestions or certain topics to discuss for the next videos. The Su-30 developed by Sukhoi is considered to be one of the most successful Russian defense export programs in the past two decades. The Su-30 is the backbone of the Indian Air Force, which operates around 272 Su-30 MKI jets, a unique version specifically designed for India. The Su-30 is in service with about 12 nations, including China, Vietnam, Malaysia, Algeria, and Venezuela. The Russian Air Force also purchased a version of the Su-30 fighter, called the Su-30SM. The Su-30SM first flew in 2012, and the Russian military has ordered around 116 jets. Russia has already announced its plan to upgrade the Su-30SM fighter. Izvestia, a Russian media outlet, reported this week the Su-30SM fighters will receive new heavy air-to-surface missiles. Izvestia reported the Russian military plans to modify the Su-30SM to carry the KH-32 supersonic air-to-surface missile. The KH-32 missile is believed to have a range of up to 1,000 kilometers and could be used against both ships and ground targets. U.S. analysts have claimed the KH-32 missile, which uses radar guidance, would allow Russian aircraft to target U.S. Navy aircraft carriers without getting in range of defending fighters. The KH-32 can carry either a nuclear or conventional warhead. In its 2018 Nuclear Posture Review document, the U.S. Department of Defense categorized the KH-32 as a nuclear weapons delivery system. This missile is estimated to have a speed of over three times the speed of sound. While some Russian media outlets have claimed it is supersonic, at least five times the speed of sound. It is a heavy weapon with an estimated weight of nearly six tons. The KH-32 reportedly became operational in 2016 and is primarily carried by the Tu-22M3 bomber. Izvestia reported the KH-32 can be carried on the centerline hardpoint under the fuselage of the Su-30SM. Typically, aircraft can carry their heaviest weapons or fuel tanks under the fuselage. Russia has already mounted hypersonic air-to-surface weapons on a smaller warplane. In 2018, it unveiled the Kinzhal missile, which is believed to have a range of around 2,000 kilometers. The Kinzhal is mounted on the MiG-31 heavy fighter, with the aircraft carrying one missile on its centerline. However, the MiG-31 is an aging platform, which has been in service since the 1980s. Adding the KH-32 to the Su-30SM would bring a considerable boost to the Russian military's offensive capabilities. Interestingly, it's not just Russia which is modifying its Su-30 fighter jet. India is also modifying the Su-30 MKI to carry the air-launched version of the BrahMos cruise missile. As we know, Su-30SM is a multi-role fighter aircraft developed by JSC Sokoy Design Bureau for the Russian Air Force. It is an advanced derivative of the Su-30 MK combat aircraft family. The Su-30 MK series fighters are in service with the Algerian Air Force, Angolan Air Force, Armenian Air Force, Belarusian Air Force, Indian Air Force, Indonesian Air Force, Kazakh Air Force, People's Liberation Army Air Force, People's Liberation Army Naval Air Force, Royal Malaysian Air Force, Ugandan Air Force, Venezuelan Air Force, and Vietnam's People's Air Force. The Sukhoi Su-30SM fighter was designed in accordance with the requirements of the Russian Air Force. It is being manufactured by Irkut, a company based in Russia. The first Su-30SM fighter designed for the Russian Ministry of Defense performed its maiden flight in September 2012. The multi-role Su-30SM can be deployed in counter airstrike, counter land and counter sea missions. It can conduct electronic counter countermeasures and early warning tasks. The aircraft also acts as a command and control platform within a fleet of combat aircraft performing joint missions. Irkut and the Russian Ministry of Defense signed a contract for 30 Su-30SM multi-role fighters in March 2012. The Russian Ministry of Defense plans to replace the Su-24 fleet with the Su-30SM fighters. The Russian Ministry of Defense placed an order for the second batch of 30 Su-30SM fighters in December 2012. Irkut delivered the first two Su-30SM fighters to the Russian Air Force in November 2012. The Russian Air Force received four 30SM aircrafts in February 2016, and Russian Knights, an aerobatic demonstration team of the Russian Air Force, received eight units in the year. Irkut delivered four units to the Kursk Aviation Regiment of the Western Military District, ZVO, in July 2017. 
the company handed over the first batch of the Su-30SM multi-role fighters to the Kazakhstan Air Force in April 2015. The Ministry of Defense of Kazakhstan signed a contract with Irkut for another batch of aircraft in May 2018. The aircraft deliveries are expected to be completed in 2020. The first batch of Su-30SM fighter aircraft was delivered to Belarusian Air Force in November 2019. Belarus is expected to receive a total of 12 aircraft. For its design, the airframe of the Su-30SM is made of titanium and high-strength aluminum alloys. It is based on the Su-30 MKI aircraft, developed jointly by Irkut and JSC Sokoy Design Bureau for the IAF. The fuselage head has a cockpit, radar sections, and avionics bay. High maneuverability was achieved through the integral aerodynamic form combined with a thrust vectoring feature. The glass cockpit accommodates two pilots in tandem configuration. The crew are provided with ejection seats. The cockpit incorporates an advanced avionics suite, integrating a head-up display and liquid crystal multifunction display. The Sukhoi Su-30SM features identification, friend or foe equipment, a global positioning system, and an inertial navigation system. The open architecture design allows the integration of modern avionics, including a new radar system, radio and recognition system, and other support systems. Now let's look at an important part of this fighter, that is the part of the weapon system and engines. The Su-30SM is capable of carrying an advanced weapons payload, weighing up to 8 tons. The aircraft can be armed with a machine gun, bombs, air-to-air -air missiles, and Onyx supersonic anti-ship and land attack missiles. Developed by the NPO, Machinostroyena, Onyx served as a basis for the BrahMos supersonic missile. Onyx has an operational range of 120 kilometers to 300 kilometers, depending on altitude. The aircraft can engage aerial threats, ground and naval surface targets, by deploying onboard air-to-air -air and air-to-surface guided, unguided weapons. It can be fitted with anti-surface weaponry, such as rockets and rocket pods, for conducting land attack operations. The fighter is powered by two AL-31FP bypass turbojet reheated engines. The engines generate a total afterburn thrust of 25,000 kgf. The power plant provides a horizontal flight speed of Mach 2. The maximum unrefueled flight range of Su-30SM is 3,000 kilometers with a flight endurance of 3.5 hours. The aircraft is also equipped with a flight refueling probe and system. Thank you for watching Military TV, and we'll see you in the next videos.